<laughs> YouTube family, the Maverick active in the space again. <laughs> Best and most credible opinion, I say, you know, fear and fearless analysis. I'm going to do something to the women you know, normally do. I'm going to follow up on my video when I do on my channel. The Mark Golding, Mark G, dual citizenship saga. Now I feel I need to put some more clarity on the position I take. And I maintain it, you know. And I double down and triple down on it, you know. Me personally, Maverick, as a Jamaican citizen who born in Jamaica, go to Jamaica, live in Jamaica, I don't think none of my public officials at a certain level, at the parliamentary level, should have dual citizenship. Should I have one foot in and one foot out? Should I have the option for just jump on a plane and run left for gone in a, the other jurisdiction where they are citizens? We say that without apology. Now, people are jump on the previous video. After me say Marky G if he just renounce in British citizenship. That's how I ask a woman. I say Marky G if he step down, you know. Renounce your British citizenship. People are jump on and say, boy, it's not illegal because he's a the Britain is a Commonwealth country. And I don't know if you understand how the constitution set up, you know. Anybody from Canada, Britain, India, Australia, any one of them Commonwealth country there. Any one of them can come here and, and turn Prime Minister and MP, you know. <laughs> yes, for the law. Yeah. So you can have that. You, you can have your Jamaican citizenship. And you have citizenship from any Commonwealth country. And it is not considered a breach of the Jamaican constitution. So people have pointed out that to me like them and tell me nothing new. That is not nothing we never know. Mark G said it initially. That legally, he does not have to revoke is British citizenship. But that is not my argument. It's, that is what the constitution allow. Then we feel the constitution needs to be amended. It, the, the, the principle of it is wrong. For you to represent me, spend my taxpayer money, commit to making the, the lives of the Jamaican people better. But to have one foot in and one foot out. It is wrong, people. And this one. I understand, you know, people are respond because of the color of them political shirt for the issue. Yeah. And that me realize, I go on, you know. Everybody we are PNP say, boy, constitutional, he no do nothing wrong. He's a commonwealth, he's a commonwealth country. He have, he have him have other citizens with, so nothing no wrong. Who no missing the principle of what I say? The man is still a dual citizen. And whether you are PNP or you are Labour, right, you have to understand the principle of what I say. When you jump on a plane and go to England, I jump, you jump on a plane and left Jamaica the same way. Like you did jump on a plane and go to Miami and go to New York. What is the difference? A big foreign him gone the same way. Since we have broke it down to the nitty gritty. Even if it's Antigua, you have uh, allegiance to. When you, you, when, when, when you mismanage Jamaican affairs, you have the opportunity, you have the option to jump on a plane and go down to Antigua. And by the way, since the argument come up, we get fair understand say enough dual citizens still in the parliament, you know. Yeah, man, we get fair understand say one permanent minister is a Canadian citizen. But they are dual citizen in the two because the constitution allow it. It's still wrong. You're not too supposed to have no split allegiance when you spend my money, taxpayer money, and give you for spend. Or you take on the responsibility for make Jamaica a better place. When you, have the, when you have your private plane and wait for you to airport, if you fly go to your other jurisdiction, it's wrong, people. The other thing where people upset about now, people, is when we say the referendum don't make sense. Because Jamaicans generally are not capable of political objectivity. They have to stand by that too. Because I bet you say most of the people may talk about them something and push back and comment. They don't live in Jamaica again. I don't understand how fiercely tribal Jamaicans are for every aspect of them life. You see, the people who support a political party, and they're talking, you know, the people who support a political party, which generally the people who go out, they go vote in elections and who go out, they go vote in a referendum, you know. Them people who don't think for themselves, you know. Them think. And it no matter the social strata where you come from, you know, as long as you're on labor, right? 
you are going to think that way there. As long as you are a PNP, you are going to think that way there. So nobody now going to vote for the issue at hand. Nobody now going to vote from them personal ideology. They are going to vote from them party line. So as a referendum thing go out there, so. Both political parties are going to seize the opportunity now, you know. To test the temperature again. And throw it for them ideology. And say which one of them, them supporters. Which can get more supporters to vote for it. That is why a referendum don't make no sense in Jamaica. For it to fiercely tribal. <laughs> Let me show you how Jamaica fiercely tribal. Every time you come here and comment for that topical, politically connected issue. You see the two tribe them take a set on the channel, you know. Big up all the people in the Oral Tracy YouTube channel, team, you know. Your Jamaicans, you know, say I got affected by it. You will be affected by tribalism. Me understand, you know. Me understand and me tolerate, me tolerate that, you know. But it, when, when me name it as a reality, you know, don't deny it. Because most of the comments, watch the comments. Panel, the video, the previous one, me know about the, about Mark G and the dual citizenship. And watch the comments about the one, yeah. Yeah, you can you can decipher the labor right them different from the PNP, you know. All of the labor right them. Say Maverick a true you know. I'm a dual citizenship, I'm a hypocrite. All of the PNP them say the constitution allow it. <laughs> nobody now. Nobody now look for the principle I say, you know. Regardless of say the constitution allow it. The man is still a dual citizen. And in principle, there is no difference. Between a dual citizen with an American citizenship and a Jamaican citizenship and a dual citizen with a Jamaican citizenship and a Canadian citizenship or a British citizenship. What is the difference? What is the difference? <laughs> the principle remains. You see, Maverick are all firm. The Commonwealth point, a waste point. May understand it. They are trying to teach, you know, about principle. <laughs> this damn done. If you do it with P, you support. When you support P over no country too much, and that's a part of Jamaica problem. Support party over country too much, and that's our no problem. Maverick, step way again. <laughs> Maverick, has step way again. We don't go nowhere. We don't call a speed a speed. Zin, Zin, best. A most credible opinion. Fearless. But fear. Analysis. Boom. <laughs>